gonna go ahead and post this video up. It's a clip from yesterday and today both walk on a little timber. Uh, cold. It's gonna be cold again tonight, real cold. I think they're saying record setting lows again tonight. Then maybe a little bit of warm up. But on the bright side, we got timber to cut. I just don't know when we're gonna cut it because when this stuff starts to melt, it's gonna be a mess. Anyway, guys, thanks so much. For everybody that's been curious, uh, Logger Threads, we just released the, our first hoodie, big, thick, heavy hooded sweatshirt. Uh, these, anything we do with Logger Threads is, it's, there's nothing about it that's cheap. Nothing. I'm a firm believer in you get what you pay for. And so with running Logger Threads, I've, we've had people say like, our stuff's kind of, kind of high. And compared to like stuff from Walmart or places like that, absolutely, it is high. It is extremely high but I'll promise you you talk to anybody that's wore our stuff or that has our stuff and it does wear our stuff it's pretty top quality stuff the longer threads apparel the brand and the same with this new hoodie this hoodie was we went with this exact hoodie we use on it <clears throat> just because it is a little heavier built hoodie it's a 70 30 blend cotton polyester and it is made to keep you warm like this this is not something you're just gonna wear out to to, to wear a label and to be flashy. No, this this is a functional hoodie. It will keep you warm. Of course, with the wood puller design on it, I, I think it looks pretty good. I'm a little biased, but I'm happy with the design. We have we had the biggest pre-sell order that we've ever had on any design with the wood puller. We're, we continue to sell it and ship it out every day. So it's been a pretty big, pretty big design for us. So the hoodie is going to be awesome. I'm excited to get the hoodie. But it, it is. It, it, it's high quality stuff. It's stuff that's going to last you. It's not going to like you're going to get a winter out of it and that'll be it. No, this stuff will last you for winters to come. It's it's made to, you know, you're, you're going to buy one and it's going to be with you for a while unless you like try to run through a burning building or wrestle with razor wire or something like that. And there's a good chance that razor wire might not even win. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what kind of man you are. Anyway, guys, thanks a lot. Be sure to check us out on all our social outlets, Turner Law, your Instagram. Facebook, here on YouTube. Check out everything we do with Logger Threads at loggerthreads.com. We continue to re release new designs. Usually about every 45 days we'll come out with a new design. This year we're working hard on winter products. We've got a long sleeve that's available for pre-order. And the hoodie that's available for pre-order, we expect both of those in by Christmas and to ship out and be to your door by Christmas is what we expect. I know with the wood puller, like the last design, the wood puller design, it got here quite a bit faster about 15 days faster than it was supposed to so definitely check out everything we do with that you won't be disappointed we we haven't had a bad a bad word yet on it i mean everybody that's we're, we see a lot of people reordering our stuff the longer thread brand stuff so definitely something you want to check out if you're into the forestry life guys thanks a lot we'll see you tomorrow kind of early for this kind of stuff here in missouri snowed pretty hard last Thursday evening too, but it didn't stick quite like this. Uh, they put a winter weather advisory out for our area last night and for the next two mornings they're calling for record cold temperatures. I think Wednesday morning is supposed to be down around 11 I think 16 in the morning. Uh, pretty, pretty cool weather. It's kind of putting a damper on my plans today. So, I cut logs in Stratford yesterday, cut a little job of walnut. Pretty good little trees. Uh, I say little, there's actually some one tree, you know, uh, one walnut had about 800 feet in it. The old 540B. Yeah, one, one tree had about 800 feet in it. I, I cut a really good veneer log out of it. It was a uh, 1025, then had a 1221 lumber log above it, then another piece above that. So, had some uh, had some footage of some old trees yesterday. Good little Sunday job. Just took the skid steer down there and did it. I meant to grab some video of it, but uh, I was in a hurry. It was just me working alone, just uh, trying to get it done. Which the weather wasn't too bad yesterday. Nothing near like today. Not that this is terrible, but I've actually supposed to go look at a couple jobs of uh, walnut today. Excuse me. They're north of Springfield, but I'm supposed to sell two different. My gosh, excuse me. Supposed to sell two different sets of logs today. Uh, look at two different jobs, and 
I don't know what all is going to get done. Uh, so it could be a could be an odd odd few days at work. We need to we need to get wrapped up on a job here north of town, kind of get some oak cut down there, get it drug out, oak and pallet material, and got another uh, job we're wanting to start on. The job we looked at a couple of weeks ago, I took you with me and we looked at it there on the river. I'd like to get started on that there uh, sometime towards the end of the week or next. Of course, deer season's going on right now, so that kind of... Deer season always puts a damper on things in the logging world. It does for us. We try to get all of our equipment kind of... We ain't got to worry about it getting shot up, being down here at the lake. You always got a bunch of of out-of-town guys coming down here to hunt that probably shouldn't be hunting at all, let alone own firearms because they don't know how to use them properly. But there's been some pretty crazy stuff. I remember one year down here, uh, some guy out of Kansas City, he come down here and actually, literally, no joke, shot a goat, went to check it in. And he literally went to check in a goat because he didn't didn't know any better. So crazy stuff, crazy stuff. But yeah, so hopefully uh, if, if we can break away and go sell these logs, I hope that's still on the table for the Strafford deal. Uh, we'll we'll definitely have the camera rolling down there, kind of get an idea what those logs looked at. Like I said, it was a sweet little job. I wish I could cut a job like that every week. It was it was nice. Didn't need the skidder. Just logged them off the skid steer. Easy access. Just cut them bucked them to links where they fell piled the brush packed the logs up to a landing it, it worked out really well it was a it was a good little sunday job so maybe we'll do something today maybe we won't just have to wait and see what goes on i know i don't take you guys with me very much to look at timber but today i am we're actually looking at a little piece of ground here just on the north side of springfield i've drove by countless countless times and I never really paid much attention to the trees right here, but some thumpers, some thumpers. Looks like there's several of them a little brushy back in here. I probably should have put my pistol in my pocket because Lord knows what you might find lurking back in here. Kind of a rough part of Springfield here on the north side. But I got a call yesterday about this piece they're getting ready to clear it off and start developing it used to be an old gas station out there where i parked at i think a lot of people use it just for commuter parking there's another diesel pickup out there uh just a three-quarter ton diesel yeah some pretty decent walnut another one right here this north side of springfield i've over the years we've cut a lot of good timber on the north side here and any time I get a look at timber, or buy timber, or cut timber on the north side, I always get pretty excited. Just because it tends to cut really good. The quality is usually really good. Another good tree there. The fence is just about grown into it. Getting close. Good tree. Good tree. Walk around in this winter wonderland. Yeah, Springfield, it's getting to be a rough place anymore. It's not a, it's sure not the place it used to be when I was young and growing up. I mean, it seems like every night there's something on the news about the drug problem or look at their tracks. Tracks. Somebody's either been in here today or yesterday. But yeah, the, the drug problem's gotten real bad down here in Springfield and murder. And it's just, it's, it's rough anymore. It's sad to, sad to see that. Another track right there. <laughs> cherry tree. Another cherry tree. I don't see too many of them. You, our cherry here in southwest Missouri isn't very good quality. We don't have real good cherry. Most of the time, even if you find them big enough to cut, they're usually shaky. They're just generally just bad trees. They're just not real good quality. This is my second stop today. I've already stopped over in Willard, Missouri and looked at a decent little set of 
oak trees. I mean, they've got some size to them. Good, they're good, clean logs. Uh, small acreage. Any more of these small acreages are getting to be kind of the normal, though. But especially when you get down here around the urban setting. And used to, I wouldn't even... I just shied away from anything small. I didn't want to fool with it, but... Now that we've kind of got some of the smaller skidders and the skid steer, there was a deer right there we spooked up. Kind of, kind of makes us more uh, versatile to do things like that. And with the price of walnut and some of this timber anymore, you can kind of justify going in after those small, smaller parcels of land. Now the oak and what I call the off-species stuff, you really got to watch what you do because you can you can lose money real fast instead of make money on the smaller tracks. Oak and like the ash and maple and stuff like that, that's still something we, we try to cut on volumes. Because it, you really, you have to have a volume of it to make anything. For one, it doesn't, the price isn't real good and then you just need to, compensate the volume to make up for it or walnut where the price is good you can have a smaller amount and still have a good dollar figure at the end Whew. not much back here in the back all pretty scrubby that's a decent cherry right there too Decent cherry. We don't even really have much of a market for cherry here. Because it just, like I said, what, what little we have isn't any good, generally. That's not to say it's all bad, but as a rule, something I've learned and my dad's taught me over the years is you probably shouldn't bank on cherry. So we don't. That's oh, a jungle in there. Cedar Glade. Hackberry. Huh. I'd say we've about seen it all. It's all up here in the front. 